Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Resident Evil 4. Where last time, we took control of Ashley, and, um, kind of by mistake, did a bit of a challenge run, because, uh, apparently, Ashley was holding a magic torch that could freeze all the enemies uh, she was running into. I didn't realise this, so we just sort of, you know, worked around them as best we could. All worked out in the end, and by all worked out in the end, uh, I mean... As she's been kidnapped, again. But I'm pretty sure that was going to happen anyway. Which means we're back on the run after her, and this time, yes, we're making our way to the throne room. And based on my knowledge of the original game, that means, yes, we may well have sewers, invisible insects, and at some point, a giant monstrosity down in the basement, who's one of the toughest, nastiest bastards in the entire game. Okay. Do not entirely trust... The giant mushrooms. And or possibly eggs. Just... Eyes open. Be ready for trouble. Because this... Oh, 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 hello, hello. Hi, 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 hi. And you too. Right, sorry. Don't, don't get back up. Don't get back up. Don't get back up. Right. They're back, are they? The big old monsters, yes, who can sort of uh, fly and sometimes go a bit invisible, but sometimes they just sort of don't bother. So, uh, right, there was one above me, wasn't there? Watch out for them. I don't know how visible they are when they're, like, invisible. Which I know sounds stupid, but in video games, that can really depend. Right, no way through, I just jazz. Yeah, start paying very close... Never mind, more of them are coming in. Oh, hello! Hi! 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 Just, okay. Sometimes if you shot these guys in the original, while they were, like, flying, you might be able to, yeah, knock them down. Which was very bloody useful. Stay the cock down, and if you guys burst when I'm standing next to you, is that gonna cause problems? Yeah, if I shoot them in midair, I might be able to knock them out of bounds, an instant kill, but I also don't get their stuff. So, right. If I see these mushroom and or egg things, uh, it means these bastards are nearby. Yes, that's what the bugs are officially called. Uh, the Novistador, the Unseen apparently, though. Um, Yes, apparently the, uh, the origin of these guys is way creepier than I thought. Because yes, and this was not in the original game, I don't believe. Uh, yes, apparently a scientist was charged with... Uh, improving the flaws of the human form and determined uh, yes the best way to do that was uh, in the womb black liquid into the body a pure soul proves to be a highly malleable and adaptive subject i have named the sacred lava carried in the wombs of the chosen you too after my own they shall carry the prestige of my family name as if i'd spawn them of my own flesh they're now close to the size of adult humans uh, they continue to feed and multiply I have successfully created a new species, so, uh, I mean, I just always kind of assumed uh, that, you know, the Navistadors in Resident Evil 4 were just bugs that got big because they had Plagas in them, but, um, uh, no. Uh, apparently, yes, weird goo was inserted into pregnant people, and the babies came out like this, and now they're multiplying, and right, that's significantly worse. Right, keep on keeping on, and, uh, oh, blimey. Well, if they want an area to hide in, you know, nice and big and open. Congratulations, here it is. Also, where's their weak spot? Because otherwise I can't really rifle them. And, oh, oh, hello. Hi. Yeah, I see you. See you too. That's, that's fine. Uh-oh. No. No, 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 no. Okay, some of you have burst. They are not that strong. Can one good shot... Okay, one good shot does force them to land. It might not kill them... But it does line up some easy follow-up shots, so... Okay, there's definitely... Oh, 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 okay, hang on. I hear... I hear them... Oh, no! Get down, and then take you out, if at all possible. They keep coming. Apparently, they keep coming. Right, go into something fast-paced. One fast... No! Down you go, thank you. Okay. Does that do bonus damage? Because... Possibly... No, you weren't even dead. You weren't dead. Stay down. Stay down. This thing is, yeah, this thing's good. The rapid fire weaponry, I see it. No, no, no. Stay down, please. You're definitely coming this way. You're now the bigger threat, actually. How much health do you have? Uh, not that much. Go to just pistol. No. They're pretty easy to stun, actually. They're fast and fidgety and they possibly do baneling explosions, but 
They're not too difficult to knock down. One good shot will deal with them. I'm assuming the head is indeed a weak point. So, okay. They might just be coming in from every side right now. Be aware, I might be about to get swarmed at any second. So, get everything. Creepy ass music too. Okay, that's... Oh, that's good. That was some shotgun shells. Good. Good, good, good. But honestly, I feel like, yeah, TMP is actually not bad. In fact, you know what? Can I craft some of that? And... Uh, Unfortunately not. That would need just yes, large parts. I could get some more shotgun. My shotgun is amazing. Yeah, do it. Let's just start burning some parts. And seriously, handgun ammo too. Let's get some. No bonus. Bit of a shame there. But what can you do, eh? Right, just reload everything. It's all going to be fine. Everything's going to be a-okay. I tell you what, they produce a good number of gems too. That's not so bad. And this area is... Oh, there we go. Precisely what I... We all just saw that, right? There was definitely something up there. It could have just been like that bit of cloth that I thought was further away than it was. So... Oh, oh, no! Back down you go! Back down into the pit! There we go. No! Yeah, you know what? That's what you want to do. If they're over the void, just take them out there. Knock them straight down. That's it's just an egg. It's fine. Can I jump over this? Nope, because there's a void. Okay, John, get the treasure first. Not that it's unguarded to mind. Hang about. Once you guys... Oh, oh, yeah, you're fast. You're fast when you want to be. I'm guessing you potentially... Yep. No, 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 no. Melee! Just, yep, kick them. Drop. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, now just start firing randomly. Just start firing. There we go. Lovely. Okay. A handful more go down. But yeah, seriously, these guys, they drop a lot. And I do mean a lot of gems. I'm just swimming in sapphires right now. And that's good. That means many duplicates are now available. So, uh, I'm myself to all of this. I feel like something's about to come up behind me. One ornate thingy McJibble. Lovely. May or may not be able to uh, plug some gems into that. What's terrifying is, yes, the soundtrack's got the crinkly noises in it. So, ooh. I see a lovely merchant light. But sadly, locked away for now. Right, we might be looping back here later by the sounds of it. Okay, I think I see what we got going on here. There's a gate that's locked. We've got, yeah, chains leading up to the two balconies. So, uh, give you a bit of a pull. I'm guessing, yeah. Thing number one is going to rise up. In the original, you actually need to, yeah, shoot the chain. So, uh, you know what? I'm giving it a go. You cannot just shoot the chains to cheat. Very sad. Right, drop back down to where we were. So, yeah, that's one thing out of the way. Keep on keeping on. Got to find the uh, other staircase leading up, apparently. Oh, hello. Sorry. Sorry, did not realize you were here. Also... By any chance, is that blue thing inside your shell uh, maybe a weak point if I could get behind you? Because, uh, I mean, that would logically make sense, right? Here we go. Start moseying on upwards. We've not been uh, this way yet, which means probably more bugs are going to start. Hang on. Oh, no, you don't. No, down. Down on the ground. I think they're more dangerous. Oh, yeah, it's definitely uh, headshots they want. And... Uh, but these things are much creepier. Now I know they're like, you know, people. Or used to be, or were babies or something. And also, now I know what they look like when they, yes, haven't been disturbed yet. They've got this weird red colour to them. So, uh, you buddy. You haven't woken up, have ya? And now you never will. Okay. Look out for, yeah, that weird red shape. And apparently gives the game away a bit, so just be ready for, oh, 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 oh someone's, never mind, you've already woken her up, that's fine, knock him down, one good shot in the head, stay down please buddy, there's definitely one more, yeah, they're faster on the ground than they are in the air, you kind of want to knock them out the sky, and then don't let them land, because once they land, uh, they're in trouble, but then one good headshot will stagger them for quite some time, so okay, we're under control for now. Plenty of ammo, though we are definitely eating into our supplies. 
Oh, and perfect timing, submachine gun ammo. Yeah, give me some of that bonus as well. Lovely. Okay. Submachine gun did really well at knocking these guys down. Because any bullet, no matter how weak, will do the job. So, yeah, bit of spray in their direction. That can knock down a group of them. Lovely. So, okay. That should be this about done. Leaving number two. Gets pulled. And we can keep on keeping on. Lovely. Okay, next up we've got to, yeah, get over to the castle proper. And I know what to do here. One nice shot will take care of that. Just to be ready for... Okay, I suspect we've just got to the bit where I need to shoot the chains. Hang about. Maybe just, yeah, make sure I know what I'm aiming at here. And John, there was an area over here. That's what that's for. It's a good sniper spot. So, well, one does that. Never mind. I thought we were going to have to shoot the chains, but no. No, no, no. Just find a second thing to shoot, apparently. Marvellous. Right. Over we go. I'm on my bloody way, Ashley. Just hang on. So, okay. Just be ready because, yes, there was... Oh, bloody hell. One Garador. One heavily armoured Garador. And... We might be able to trick them into fighting, you know, these bastards. So, you and you. Right, now we just get the flip out of dodge. Get down. Reload. Hit. Oh, blimey, blimey. Oh, that's going to cause trouble, isn't it? No! Can you actually take out your friends? Oh, he has taken out his friends beautifully there. That has actually worked out very well for me. Okay. Two Garadors. My knife is in a good condition. So, okay. This is, this is fine. I'd like... You just straight up went up to that guy and shanked him. But it was not enough, apparently. So, okay. Just keep on keeping on. Where's my... Oh, blimey. You're, you're also here. Okay. That's, that's fine. Have you... You've heard... Okay. I'm just going to... Ow! I kind of forgot he was there, actually. Okay. Everything's gone a little bit, uh... A little bit wrong on this occasion. Guys, how about you? Okay, this is this has gone very, very, very wrong, actually. Okay, just... This is fine. I've got plenty of health items. It's all going to be a-okay. I need to take out all the little guys at first. That's my priority. And if I can, yeah, just sort of uh, draw them into the Garadors. But okay, this is, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Just... Draw a bit of attention over to here. And boom. Right, let's see if we can just get a bit of attention. And you definitely just... Oh, blimey. And now we just move over here. I'm hearing some chunking behind me. Okay, you definitely did some good work. And now what we need to do is... Where's the other one? You just killed someone too. Brilliant. Okay, you know what? I'm pretty sure what I've got is... Yeah, I've got a couple of baby grenades. But they'll do the job. Quite frankly, just avoid that. Right, one basic grenade for you. And that's probably going to draw some attention. Any survivors will be killed uh, by that. Just keep on keeping on. Go over to shotgun. That should be able to stagger anyone. Luckily, they're being very slow right now. And don't mind me. What? Oh, well, that's just gone wrong in multiple different ways. Okay, just get past all of you. Right, just get over here. If we're lucky, they'll have done a spin. And then you'll all be dead. You know what? They're sounding pretty... Did you just get another shield out? Where did that bloody come from? Okay. No. No. And now run and kind of hope that they just get minced. Seriously, where are you guys coming from? Are you guys cocking regenerating? Because if so... Oh, I don't appreciate this. Don't appreciate this at all. Okay. Just everything is... Everything's fine aside from all the... Well, you definitely just did some damage to you. Boom. Right. That's going to be you nice and dead running in this direction. Where's the other guy with that? Bloody hell! That's a problem! Okay, this is... Okay, this is... This is... Everything's going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. Aside from the fact they're, they're on the... No! Out the way you go! Okay, just be ready for... For noise and... Oh, no! Ow! Okay, that's... That's fine. They... They... They figured out I was around. It's, it's all good to be all A-OK. -okay. Have we taken out the little guys at this point? 
because okay just just help me sell to ammo just reloading make noise i think we finally take it out the babies and they're standing next to each other boom and that will do something bare minimum okay that definitely just uh yeah did a little bit of something to them okay their friends are dead at this point they have got no friends that means knife or sniper rifle you know what they're actually separated pretty far right now so i'm just going to try and get the stab i'm going to assume that's going to maybe upset hang on is that going to upset both of them oh you don't like something this is going on but you're not sure okay this is good he just went this way you just went probably after him. Okay, we just need to focus all firepower on, yeah, one of them. And you are my first target, buddy. The guy not in armor. So, okay, just hold. Lovely. Now we just go over to here and try and not draw attention. You have no idea what's going on, but now they're going to move up there. Okay. We start getting into, you know, a, a rhythm at this point. You've run up there to deal with that. You probably followed uh, because you knew I was, you know, over there last. And now we can do precisely the same thing again. And once one's down, life's going to be a whole lot easier. Here we go. Might be a good opportunity. And now we just move to here as soon as we're around the corner. Get down. Reloading is, I think, peaceful. Okay, this is... This is fine. This is going well now. This is going well, especially as... Okay. You're now dead. Meaning you don't have any friends anymore. Good. Good, good, good. Definitely, I feel like he was the uh, right person to go down first. Okay. Now, with that in play, we should be able to, yeah, just basically knife him back away repeat this should now be quite doable especially as yes we do have uh, some highly convenient bells so how about we just ring that you are definitely good to how did you not hear that it's a large bell that exists in this room exclusively for the sake of summoning you okay let's just let's try that again seriously though i feel like you definitely there we go. He heard the bell on that occasion. Marvellous. That's going to get him nice and stuck. And you're going to get stabbed in the back. And then we're just going to back away. Lovely. How are you feeling, buddy? It's not feeling great. It's not feeling too great at all, actually. He's just sort of uh, swinging around a bit. Okay, bells are one use only. But it's one a hell of a use because it literally gets him stuck in the wall. This one's a bit trickier, though, because, yeah, I need to get out of this corner and not get, you know, nailed by him as he passes by. This might also be my last knife swing. Just get behind you. And that is, yep, that's my knife broken, unfortunately, and he is still... Oh, that was not the right... Okay. That was not the right thing to do. No, I've got my little boot knife. The extra spare one started about okay. Probably should have actually used them first. Then again, they're not going to be anywhere near as strong. So okay, just don't worry about that. Straight back in. Oh yeah, that thing is... Wow, that thing basically breaks immediately. But that's fine because... Uh, one more, if we're lucky, should do the job. But just end up facing it that way. He's doing a bit more swinging. He does not know who he wants to go for. Okay. A little boot knife. We'll finish him off. Just maybe avoid the debris. Oh, he's getting uh he's getting flaily now. He knows. He knows he's in trouble. Just got to deal with you. Yeah, yeah, it's all fine. It's all fine, buddy. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. And if we're lucky, that's gonna be blimey, you are tougher, aren't you? You're definitely tougher. Okay, you know what? Screw you! And then, oh, I think he knows now. Oh, he definitely knows. Oh, that was a mistake. I kind of thought he was... Everything's fine, aside from the bit where I just got a bit stabbed. It's, it's all fine apart from that. Okay, maybe over something 
nice and down. Okay, 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 okay. Chill out. Everything's fine. It's all, it's all fine. 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 Stab him in the back again. And I think he's popped. Okay, he was a lot tougher than his friend. But he's got us at Unicorn or Horn at number two. And Magnum Ammo, which I did not use. I was thinking about it, but I didn't. You know, I just realised, as the game, you know, gives me a giant pile of uh, bolts, this would have been an excellent, a truly excellent room to have, you know, a silenced weapon. So, right, I've probably been uh, sleeping on the poor crossbow. Still, no time to worry about that just yet. Insert horn number one. Lovely. And just uh, nip over to the other side. A horn number two. And we are almost there. In fact, this might well be the moment we catch up with Ashley. Though, um, spoiler warning, only for a split second. Oh yeah, the throne room is right here, though. Okay, in the original, you only like come into this room very briefly. Then there's an ambush and you end up being dumped in the basement. But there is actually treasure in here. Suggesting, yeah, possibly there could be something more interesting going on. Well, time to find out. Ashley, here I flipping come. <laughs> Ashley! Leon, stop! No, don't come any closer! Are you hurt? Watch out! Please, do continue. Do not resist, my dear. It serves only to make you suffer. All the worse. Please, please. You sick! Despedimos, Señor Kennedy. Hang in there, Ashley. I'm coming for you. Okay. So now we're... Oh, bloody hell, we're underground, and um, I suspect they may have made this bit a bit creepier than it used to be, given it's a lot bloody darker. In the original, the merchant was just chilling out down here with you, which makes it a lot less intimidating, so... Okay, this is really good, by the way, because, uh, yes, in the original, like, Salazar kept referring to the ritual that had to be done with Ashley, but no one was ever very clear about what this ritual was, or what it did, or anything, so, uh, yes, it sounds like possibly they're going to flesh that out a bit in the remake, so, uh, yeah, the black stuff that was being fed to her, presumably the same black stuff that was used to create the Novista doors, so, uh, possibly it's like an accelerant or, like, food for the Plagas to help it grow and take control or something. Okay, step one. Eyes open and I do not trust the fact that, yeah, there are the, uh, noise-making McJibbles uh, right here. Look around there, but there might be more down here than I'm expecting. They could, you know, a look. Ooh. What the hell? Oh. Probably no Vista doors, because they can go invisible, which they haven't really been doing so far. But right, that bit isn't supposed to be now. That that bit was supposed to be like before now. But I feel like we might have just entered a maze full of invisible monsters in the dark. Oh, good, 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 good. This is this is good. Looking forward to this hugely. Okay, just. Be aware 
Yeah, hang on. Was that was that the eyes? It was green. Their eyes are green. Can't aim a gun right now. Okay. Going over to yeah, rapid fire. Maybe watch out for. About to say, watch out for yeah, so ripples could give away the position, but don't think it's that because there's way too many ripples, and one of them's right next to me. So okay, just everything's going to be fine, aside from. You heard that too, right? That was just like, oh, okay, yeah, hello there, buddy, yeah, 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 that's, that's fine. Okay, this is, this is all fine, this is fine. Right, so the invisible bug sewer section has uh, shuffled around a bit, it's here now and it's way, way scarier. I'm just doing one green herb. Like, it's a bit of a shame, but, like, if I come across a yellow, I can just blend it into the green and the red. It's all... Oh. Okay. There's one somewhere. Presumably, they do make noise. It's all going to be fine just across here. Everything's... I don't mean to just drop down into this area, because, oh, I did, but right, now there's a choice of ways. Good, 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 good. This is, this is, this is. This is good. Appreciate this. Just maybe reload. Just be ready. Fortunately, yeah, they don't seem to want to ambush me. They just have to... Oh! Hi! Hi! Hi, 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 hi. The eyes. The eyes are a giveaway. And no. And the pistol puts them down pretty well. No, you don't. Okay. These ones aren't flying. They're on the ground. Which means actually they're faster. That's actually not good. Okay. That's fine. Gunpowder. Can I make anything? I just think I'd feel better if I could make something right now. Handgun. Honestly, not worth it. Okay. I'm going to loot back the way I came. There might be an extra enemy back here, but they're also... Whoop! Yep! Yep! That's, that's fine. That's fine, buddy. I see. Yep. That's all A-OK. -okay. Because, yeah. Gunpowder is probably worth a handful of bullets, and there might be other treasure. Okay. Two dead, and now I know for certain there's none behind me. But I'm almost out of, yeah, SMG. So just... Okay, don't rely on the ripples. Just rely on, yeah, the, uh, oh, hi, 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 yep, aim right in the middle of the eyes, right in the eyes, that's the key, it's all fine, it's all fine, also, I think I shot a fish, and didn't mean to shoot a fish, but, like, um, I'm just gonna eat the fish, I'm gonna feel better once I've eaten the fish, there's fish down here, just keep on keeping on, check the, whoop, I see, yep. Not a terrible shot, and you. That looks like, yep, ammo. I'll flip and take that also. Where'd the fish go? Okay, I am good at hitting fish. At the bare minimum, at least I can hit fish reliably. And yeah, by the looks of it, this door on this side leads to treasure. Though possibly guarded treasure. Yeah, we'll see. Elegant crown, that's money. And a, a note. Okay. Prisoner. So fine, this was a prison of some description. Oh. And it wasn't just a prison, it was a fake prison designed to turn people into monsters. And uh, yes, why the experiments being done here were being done here. The black water Ashy was drinking, it wasn't just something they made, it's naturally occurring in this cavern. Herminio turned first, he was so weak he couldn't even walk, then suddenly he became mad. By the time the rampage ended, uh, two were dead, uh, we shouldn't drink the liquid. So okay, it's somehow connected uh, to Las Plagas, just can't be sure entirely how just yet. Right, back round to the front, though. 
Okay. I see a yellow herb, which is great news, and I may be able to grab if I got my timing right, but okay, hang about. That's... That looks pretty locked to me. Hang on. How are we supposed to be getting to you, buddy? Hang on. I may have been right the first time. Here we go. There's an opening of some description, which give it a bit of a kick. There we flipping go. Lovely. Sad the prisoners didn't think of that, really. And there's my yellow herb. Lovely. So, okay, you know what? I'm just going to blend that right now into a basic uh, green and yellow. Just increase my max health bar down the line. Got a fish too. No problemo. I'm pretty sure I saw... Okay, there was treasure in it here. But we've already, uh, yeah, helped ourselves to that. So, uh, okay. Now we've done the creepy sewer section. Just, it all... Oh. Lights. Light is bad for the Plagas, and my Plagas is starting to get along, meaning I can't deal with bright lights anymore. Right. That might be uh, used against me at some point. Also, guns out. I do not trust any of this. Just rats. It's all going to be fine. Stab them if you can. You might well be asked to do pest control later. Oh, and thank goodness, before we move on, we've got the purple light of the merchant because, uh, yes, as we've been tossed down into the basement by Salazar from the throne room, that means, yes, naturally we're not getting away without what is arguably, yes, the toughest boss fight in Resident Evil 4, the Verdugo. And it's the toughest fight because uh, it's not one you're necessarily supposed to win, but okay. Time being, let's just, you know, check in with the merchant. He might well have uh, some good... Oh, that's a lot of ammo I've just been given for free. I do not appreciate that. Okay, new toy. We've got what may or may not still be, yes, the ultimate shotgun in the game. The Striker. But the Striker was always a bit of a weird shotgun. Because, yes, fully upgraded, it is better than the Riot Gun. But the Riot Gun comes with just a so... So much more precision, it could be used at a much better range. The striker, the spread, the precision of it, so much worse. So, uh, I am Not tempted to, at the bare minimum, the just for the moment, keep the riot gun. And yes, naturally, You're repair up the uh, knife, uh, repair up my armor. Lovely, and that leaves me with uh, almost no money. But that's fine, because... Okay, this old girl's just 12 grand, nothing too dramatic. You, however, okay. This is kind of unfortunate in a way because, uh, yeah, I don't really have the right gems to plug into you right now. In fact, literally all I can do is, yeah, the three color bonus. So, uh, no, that's, that's terrible. That would just be a waste of good gems. So just uh, take all of them out, though. Seriously, I am swimming in sapphires thanks to the Novista doors. We're going to have to leave that, and uh, that's a bit of a shame, because, uh, yes, indeed, this is the moment in Resident Evil 4 where I make one of my big purchases. So, say hello to the rocket launcher, because the rocket launcher in Resident Evil 4 is really bloody interesting. I mean, 80 grand to basically skip a boss. That's the easy way of looking at it, but no. That's not the only way to interpret this deal. The other way to look at it is, uh, yes, if there's a boss that's going to cost you huge amounts of ammo, huge amounts of health, or huge amounts of health items uh, to take down, uh, just take the rocket launcher, kill it in one shot, congratulations, uh, you've just saved a huge amount of ammo and uh, health items, which is going to make life much easier down the line. So yeah, the Dugo, he's one of the bosses in Resi 4 I would always buy a rocket launcher for, for the simple reason that, um, yes, this is a fight where you either have to just survive for a few minutes and then run away, but then you miss out his rewards, etc, etc, or take him down with I conventional firepower. Mind. Very difficult, but not impossible. Or you just shoot him with the rocket launcher, you get the reward, you don't waste all your ammo, etc, etc. So... I would be tempted, but on this occasion, yes, the choice has kind of been taken away from me because I literally can't afford the damn thing. Now, the only way I might be able to would be, yeah, if I sold the riot gun, which has been ludicrously upgraded, bought the striker, and then, yeah, partially upgraded the striker, but also used half of that money to buy the rocket launcher. 
it's a possibility that yes, if a Dugo kills me a few times, uh, I might be willing to consider. Although I can just afford with, yes, my existing loose change, a slight increase to rate of fire on the broken butterfly, and uh, given how well that thing did against the elite knight, I'm going to take it. That's already maxed out at 27 damage. I think it's possible that, yeah, Broken Butterfly, fully upgraded, might just be able to take out the Dugo by itself. So, alright game, let's mosey on in because, yeah, this is about to get nasty, I suspect. And yeah, here we go. Liquid Nitrogen Showers. Let's just say, you know, just in theory, I'm about to be being chased by a giant monster. Yes, leading it into the showers, uh, that might slow it down a bit. Oh, bloody hell, yeah, this looks familiar. This, uh, this all looks about right. Okay, we're going into a... Apparently there was a treasure in the merchant's room. Hang the cock on. This is why we buy the maps, okay? Because I would never have seen that. And honestly, I feel like it's, you know, rude to take that and then immediately trade it to him. So, okay, we'll hold on to that for now. We'll trade it to you later. Okay, as I was saying, spooky corridor, creepy, etc., etc. I strongly suspect that, um, yes, at some point, pretty soon, something bad's about to happen. And I'm going to need to start tapping B to evade a fair bit. Okay. What precisely is this? Push button. Yeah. Oh, 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 cock, 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 cock. Okay. Good start. Excellent start by me. Let's just, uh, very quickly, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just get my health up a bit. Right, so push that, and the shower is literally right above you. Okay, that's that's fine. Now we know how those work. Brilliant. And then we've got over here. Yeah, this is where we want to go ultimately. This is how we want to leave, the elevator. So, flip the circuit breaker at the back of the lab, which, uh, yes, might just also wake up something else, potentially, so... Yeah, there she is. Right over there. So just... Okay, it's all gonna be fine. Everything's going to be a-okay. Also, hello there. These people are not right. Okay, Leon's starting to catch up a bit. Good for him. May, nine years since my awakening. Upon the release of this valve, a black liquid shall enter my veins and circulate my entire body. I expect this will be the most painful experience of my life. I await the trial with great anticipation. It's an honour to suffer through the holy labour of rebirth. Next time I awaken, I will be a true servant of Master Ramon. I make this vow. I will surpass the limitations of man and become a true servant of God. I will find the heretics and serve as their executioner. There, there do go. Right, so we know who the guy who we're about to be fighting is. Apparently it was just some guy who was a scientist in a slightly loose interpretation of the term who, yes, created the Novista doors. Lovely. I will say, though, so far he's being, you know, very shy. Normally I would have expected him to, you know, be showing up and uh, causing trouble by now, but no, no tentacles uh, through the floor or anything, actually, so... Okay. Keep on keeping on. Got to find our way onwards. Here we go. This feels like the right direction. Any moment now. It's quite... Oh! Okay. Good dramatic entrance there. Lovely. So, okay. That's, um... That's a Verdugo. I'm guessing. He's coming. Not just yet. Not properly. Or at least not in the original. In the original... Yes, we just had to uh, stay out of the way of tentacles and whatnot. But actually, yes, in this version, uh, that's not necessarily true. He might already be on the field. I'm a hearing. Oh, I'm hearing. I'm a hearing. I'm a hearing. I'm a hearing footsteps. Okay. Memorize where the nitrogen is. There's you right here. There's you right by the start. Everything's fine. Just eyes on the prize. Go and get the treasure. Maybe stay down in case, like, you know, he's... all blimey. Okay. 
see this here. But if I can't get through here, how do we... Okay. Treasure, but... Locked. Fascinating. Pull the switch. Is that by any chance? That opens up something and... Ooh, that might not necessarily have been good. Still locked away, though. Okay, maybe come back for you. That breathing. That breathing just off around. Okay, number three is, yeah, off the passageway. So one, two, one back over here. Just keep on keeping on. Is he, like, noise activated? Because would have expected him to have shown up by now. Right, locked away. Bunch of areas might just be sealed until, yeah, Verdugo's dead. So, okay, just... I'm sure it's all fine and nothing bad's about to happen. Oh, blimey. Yep, 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 yep. Just do a backflip. Okay. Oh, you kidding me. That's just a Verdugo, you know, wiggling a limb at me. I'm sure it's fine. It's all under control. We just need to, yeah, freeze him. Then blast him. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's fine too. It's fine as well. Everything's fine. He's going to make his first proper appearance after we flick the switch. Then he's going to show up properly. So, okay, just... Yeah, switch is going to be back here. Is every gun fully loaded? Good enough. Okay. There are four. And I've got 12 shots and a fully upgraded magnum. I don't know if that's going to be enough. But we are not messing around with this guy. Okay, we freeze him, we shoot him with the Magnum, that's the end of the story. And now he's about to appear. So okay, he's about to show up. Any moment now. Any moment. Where are you, buddy? Why are you not already here? That's, that's somehow worse, actually. Okay, bare minimum, John. You are swimming in health items. This is why you might want the rocket launcher. Because I'm not going to be at the end of this fight. And it might be nice to be swimming in, you know, healing items. That might be great. So, oh. Right. That'll be him. Yep, here he comes. Right. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. No. Right. And you. Just over to me if you'd be so kind. And he freezes up. Boom. 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 And now it's time to cocky go. Reloading as we go. Right. That's got to be a decent amount of damage. Right there. Wait, what? Where, where, where the cock am I and what am I doing? Where the cock am I and what am I doing? This is not where the door is. Where's the Verdugo? Where's... Oh, never mind. That is where the door was. Okay, apparently we just need to do that. So, okay. Next one is over here. Just run and... Yeah, we've now got to survive. For, like, some amount of time. So we can either just try and outlast the bastard. Or, you know, toss, flash grenades, etc, etc. Or we could just do this. So, okay. That's... Oh, blimey. Just... Oh! Okay, didn't know we could still do that at this... Oh, well, that's... That's not good. That's not good. Okay. That's... That's fine. Can we actually hit these again? Or is these one use only? Oh, these might be... Oh, cock me. I think I've... 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 Fluff this. Okay. Is this no open bunny chance? This is no... Ow! Stop being a dick. Okay, this is fine. Eat a fish. That that does a lot, actually. No, 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 no. Did that do a thing? Did that did that do the thing? Is that that did the thing? You need to chill out. Brilliant. Okay. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. And now we're out of that. Okay, is he now maybe running for it. I don't know. Go over to shotgun is my second best weapon. And he's... Is he actually after me right now? Wait, go this side if he's trying to follow me. Boom! Come on, you stupid bastard. There we are. Ho ho! You know what? That went pretty well. All things considered. Fine, I've just burned all my magnum ammo, but 
We're nearly at the island. At some point, I'm going to change that over to the Killer Seven. And because he's dead, uh, Elevator instantly arrives. So, uh, okay. On this difficulty, it would have been, yeah, inefficient to buy the rocket launcher. On professional difficulty, 100% I am. Because he gives you a treasure if you kill him. Which if you just, you know, run from him, you don't get. So, uh, you get a partial refund on your rocket launcher anyway. And as I suspected, yes, he's cracked open this little thing right here. So a yellow diamond together with a gunpowder, first aid spray. Honestly, that actually went like, as far as I'm concerned, perfectly. Like that was textbook stuff. And as for all the rest, yeah, give me some shotgun shells. No bonus on this occasion, but I will flipping take it. Yeah, ammo still looking respectable. I think I'm, yeah, pretty happy with how that ended up. So curiously, yeah, this door around here, still locked. So possibly I need to, like, bait him into swinging at that or something. Oh, never mind. Um, It turns out this room is just open from, yes, the central corridor. So never mind. Turns out it's very easy to access. And I've even got some magnum ammo back from a trouble. Beautiful. So, okay. Life is good. I think that was handled uh, very nicely. That was one scenario where, yes, knowing the original was uh, a huge advantage. And the game knew you were going to be using Magnum there. So, uh, you know what? Let's just uh, reload you nice and fast. And just so we've got you ready for, you know, the next gigantic monster. And as for the crown, uh, yeah. I could put it into two duos uh, for a 1.5 multiplier. Or I could go for a full colour bonus for 1.6. But if I just wait for, yes, any Alexandrite whatsoever, that's worth times two. That's such a big step forward. I feel like that's the right thing to do. And alternatively, you know what? A duo and trio, that's 1.8. So if I could just find, yeah, one more green and they show up all the time, that would actually be pretty good too. So yeah, I'm going to take out all of those gemstones we're going to hold off selling that for now. In which case, over to the elevator. And we have escaped from the basement, which is, uh, yes, significantly longer than it used to be. Purely because, uh, yes, the old Novista door invisible basement has now been merged into that. And, uh, oh, I suspect I'm not doing so hot, actually. Pitiful <laughs> little <laughs> Your suffering came in, just as it has from his daughter. Who has joined us in communion, and now she is of our flesh, of our blood. My faithful disciple will show her the path. Go now. Deliver to these vagrant children their salvation. As you wish. I'll make it cheap for you. You know what? I'm extraordinarily glad to see Lewis on this occasion. Beautiful. Feeling better. Yeah. Seems like it worked. Bad news? All we've done is buy you some time. The suppressants effects will wear off all too soon. You ready to go? Don't worry about me. Ashley is the priority. In that case, we know what we have to do. Then come, Sancho Panza. Let us rescue the Princess Dulcinea. You're gonna hurt yourself. Hey, that was my dance. Okay, we hurry, I get it. Why help me, though? What's in it for you? <laughs> no need to be suspicious. I said I'd help you, didn't I? Oh, Lewis is just magnificent. Like, he was magnificent in the original, but somehow he's become even more so. He's just even more ridiculously over the top now. It's lovely. And yeah, Lewis just appears to be uh, hanging out with me these days, which is lovely because unless I'm forgetting something, yes, I don't think he actually ever travelled around with you at all during the original. Like, you know, he showed up in the old cutscene, but actually hanging out with you outside of, yes, the actual uh, house siege, I mean... 
he never did that. So, right, you're going to be my new friend, lovely. But let's not worry about that just for now, because, yes, we have got Merch of the Next here, who is now selling gold tokens. Lovely. Oh, and that's repurchasable. Right, so I can just keep buying those. Lovely. So, okay, don't worry about that for now, because, yes, indeed, we've got Matilda here, but I'm pretty sure the new item is uh, the stock. Yeah, Matilda is an interesting hand garner. Not necessarily as strong as some of the others, but a three round burst when the stock's attached. And uh, that is vicious. That is just really, really bloody nice and strong. Okay, I'll think about it. But uh, yes, I don't think we'll make that decision just now. And I'd rather save up for potentially then again. You can just, you know, get the upgrade by fully upgrading the gun. But now I know they go up to level 5, uh, that is more expensive than I expect it to be. Okay, don't worry about that for now, because uh, we've also got... Oh yeah, an elevator. So, uh, Lewis, would you like to accompany me to the shooting range? Okay, now Lewis, are you plan to just, you know, stand there, or are you going to sit on the Ashley barrel, like Ashley would have done, and... Uh, He's sitting on... No, he's just going to... Oh, you stylish bastard. Just leaning on it casually while his zip just slightly freaks out physics-wise. Oh, and here's fun. The new games are all about pistols. So, Red Nine, okay, pretty good with that one. And the Punisher, that's the gun that, yeah, pierces straight through things. So, uh, okay, that's a bit of an interesting challenge right there. Let's just uh, start with a red nine right here. So, yeah, just be aware it is. Okay, just go. Got to make sure you're getting that. And there was a... Should have gone for the way. Hang on. Oh, there were sailors around there. Okay. Needs to wait for the sailor to go away. Right. This is all about, yes, taking your shot at precisely the right moment. Waiting for the right moment to take out everybody. And go. Never mind. Just about got... Oh, blimey. You about to... Okay. Wait! And then... Oh, bloody hell. Okay, he's probably going to come back. Gotcha! Okay. That one's a fun one. That one's actually very short. And all you need to do really is, yeah, just make sure you nail the dynamites. Okay, let's try the first Punisher. So, yeah, this is a piercing gun. So, just a straight through. Then you just need to, yeah, make sure you've uh, positioned yourself correctly. So, yeah, just make sure you are lining up beautifully. And beautiful. Oh, hang on. That's avoid the sailors right over to this side. Okay. I understand the basic principle here. That's all fine. Just line it down the middle in case, yep, I see you. And boom. Lovely. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hang on. Oh, they're all going to be on this side. Straight down the... Oh, bloody hell. Okay, no, John. Wait for them to be on this side. Do not rush to get back to them. One, two, three. Boom. Lovely. Now you're going to be over here, aren't you? And oh, cock me. Okay, just wait for the right moment to... That's a good moment for you. And apparently I've got bonus time on my first attempt. So that's going to be some good stuff. Oh, blimey. Okay, this is this is fine. Just go for that. That's some lovely stuff there. And then just go for you. Wait for you to come back, please. Oh, there's birds at the back with the extras. Okay, need to uh, practice that one a bit. But I tell you what, that's not bad as a starting point. And finally, straight over to, yeah. Uh, option C. So, okay, that went pretty well for Punisher. Now, we've got Punisher number two. That was a bit of a miss there. But, still take out all of you and boom. I think I missed the, uh, yes, unfortunately, uh, dynamite there. But, it's all good to be fine. And do not shoot the dynamite on this occasion. Because, yes, there's a sailor. I shot the sailor anyway. Well done, job. Well cocky done. Okay, it's all fine. We should still get something. And boom. That's enough to clear out everything. Now we don't want to do that. Yeah, we need to very specifically not do said thing. Okay, then you guys go away. Fine. You need to be very quick on the draw there. And then wait. Lovely. And then all of you just try and get both of them. Get round to two here. Wait for you to go away. And boom. And you go down too. Okay, not terrible. I should get a few silvers uh, for that one. That one's a bit trickier at the bare minimum. 
Right, how about we put in, yes, one gold and then a couple of silvers. Uh, eventually we'll have put in so many silvers, even the silvers have to give me... Oh, that looks good. Cute bear legendary minus one gunpowder use when crafting. That's pretty good. Okay, try that again because that combo just went really well for me. So, okay, just uh, shove that into there. Okay, back to the boring greys, but they can be really good. Uh, shotgun shell craft bonus frequency. That's pretty solid, to be honest. And then, yeah, just shove in a handful of silvers because they can still produce the good stuff too if you just get really lucky. And on this occasion, just a grey ball. But, okay, attachable mines, not so much my thing. Good shooting, cowboy. I had fun just watching you work. I do enjoy how your companions just really enjoy joining you in the shooting gallery. It's lovely. Also, when I say I'm glad to have, yes, the whole uh, shotgun bonus thing, I already had that, apparently. I've just got two of them now. But yeah, I'm going to put the teddy bear on in the middle, replacing a handgun, because, yeah, I'm not crafting anywhere near as much handgun anymore. Like, it drops a fair bit anyway, so I'd much rather, yeah, just be able to craft more efficiently. And speaking of which... I'm going to go over to, uh, yeah, the black briefcase so that I'm getting more and more large resources. Because, yeah, large resources, that's rifle ammo, and that girl is an absolute beast. I love it. Then we could just, yeah, sell the monocolor from the lovely scientist we murdered, which is beautiful. And uh, how about we, uh, oh, yeah, oh, flipping, yeah, max power knife, because uh, we did just get, you know, a tiny bit of a warning that Krauser's on his way. And Krauser, you fight with a bloody knife. So, uh, knives being better, that's what we want to do. I think that was a very sensible purchase. So, okay, with Lewis now hanging out with me, I'd say how about we call it a part there. But next time, we are hot on Ashley's trail, and Lewis is apparently joining me for that. And even more excitingly, if this is anything like the original in terms of order of play, and that is far from certain, but if it is... We're getting nearby to the mines, and it does look rather miney around here, you've got to say. So, uh, if that's the case, me and Lewis might be going on a minecart ride together, which, are oh, that just sounds absolutely delightful. So, uh, join me next time for some ridiculous minecart fun. Hopefully, you are looking forward uh, to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Resident Evil 4. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, wait, and flamethrower, 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 flamethrower. Okay, so this is, this is definitely morally questionable. The point where you start singing the flamethrower song, potentially you've gone over the line.